Hello and welcome to Harriet's Computer Art Plus. This is going to be a totally unedited tutorial, so please uh, forgive me if I bump the camera or anything might happen, my dog bark. Um, but uh, I'll have the measurements for each piece at the end of the tutorial because I want to go ahead and get the assembly done. I had shown it on the live I was trying to do the live and I was told by one of the subscribers that there was no sound so I I would I had stopped that and I'm gonna still uh, assemble it here and then upload it but I didn't want to go back into the sizes because I've already put my iPad away so um, I'll explain all that about the sizes uh, once once I'm done with this portion so what I did was I cut the same pieces which are the base, I'm only uh, reinforcing the base of the cap with the black liner. And all I did was cut eight black uh, black cards, card stock uh, side panels or base panels. And then I cut the eight uh, royal blue ones. And instead of trying to fit it in after the fact, I'm putting them, I'm attaching them beforehand. Now you don't, like I said, you don't have to put in a liner. It works really well and it still holds up well, but I wanted this one to be extra sturdy and I made the other one like this and they're both going to the same customer so I couldn't uh, change it up now. So all I did was make sure they were lined up by just tapping that straight edge on the table and then I just lift barely lift one side of this and then ran my tape down and then put them together. And then I just did that on both sides just so that it won't come apart. Just like that. And I'm gonna do this for all of them. I'll do one more because it looks like I might have been off camera. But you see it lines up perfectly. So I'm gonna do one more because I think I might have been off camera. So I'm just lining them up on the corner by or on the straight edge. And then I'm gonna pull this back and run the tape. Oops. Sorry, there goes the camera bump. Right up this side. Press it down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And this is just so that it will stay together. The liner will stay together. And once we glue it, it you can't even tell that you've even done this. So now I'm just going to, I didn't glue this one, this flap, because it will it will automatically be in place. So don't worry about that. Just put um, a line of your tape uh, gun here and a line of your tape gun there. I didn't put any at the top because it automatically holds that. And now I'm going to finish these, and then I'll be right back with you when we're ready to go to the next step. Okay, now we have all of the pieces folded on all of the score lines. I line these. I can show you uh, how to do that if anybody is interested. Basically, all you do is cut the same shape uh, for the side panels. You cut eight of another type of cardstock or, or the same cardstock if you don't want it to be contrasting colors. And all I did was run a line of tape here and a line of tape here and just glue them together so that it would be more sturdy because that's how I made the first cap. But you don't have to do that. That's optional to line it. It works just fine without it. It looks just fine without it. And it holds up really well too. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tape our sides. So of course you can put it on whichever side you prefer, but this is the side I prefer to go with. And all you're gonna do, I just hold down a few of them at a time, and then I run my tape roller right down the edge just like I did with the um, baseball cap boxes. I'll bring all these over here. Now I'll do a couple of them and then I'll stop the camera and do the rest so that this tutorial won't be extremely long. But this cap is really easy to make. 
I didn't time myself making it, but it really didn't take long. So that's all you're going to do on each one of these. Just fold these down, hold down a few of them, use your uh, tape roller, and just roll down them, down the tabs, until you get all eight done. So I'm going to pause, and we'll continue when I'm done. And the reason why I turn it uh, this way to put the, the tape on is because when I was trying to turn, the, turn it this way and trying to line the tape up, it was getting on the actual side of the cardstock that I didn't want it on. So by doing it this way, you don't have to worry about getting it in the wrong spot. It won't be showing when you put your seams together. Got a couple more to go. I'll just keep it rolling because it goes pretty quickly anyway. Boy, that live, that short live I did was such a disaster. I doubt I'll ever do one again. <laughs> I can't believe I started that one, to be honest. I don't, I like to take photos of everybody and video of my family but I'm usually not in the pictures people always say it's like I didn't go on all of our vacations so this is the last piece and then you're going to do just like you do with the baseball cap box you're just going to line these up and sometimes I'll fold the bottom just so I can make sure I'm putting it right where it needs to be because it, it just kind of hooks up under there and then you just want to press a couple of the tabs and then work your way up to the top and once you have all of them connected and you see how fast that went you just press it together now if it got gets off a little bit I like this tape because you can reposition it because it does set later on so I'll like hold my finger there to make sure I'm getting it just on that edge and not going too far over and then I just run my fingers down it to make sure that it's attached and I'm just going to keep doing that until I have all the sides together Oh, thank you, whoever that is that just purchased one of my templates. So, I'll most likely just fast forward through this or cut this part out. Or maybe I'll leave it in in case some people like to see every step. So, maybe I'll leave it in because it's not that, it doesn't take that long. And those of you who are afraid to try the baseball caps because people have said they're a nightmare, which they used to be before the tape roller, um, this is how you do the baseball caps so that you can get your seams perfectly every time, perfectly set. And just run your fingers through there to make sure that it's adhering. the last piece and then we'll do the same thing to the exact same thing to the top side pieces which go underneath the mortar board which if you don't know the mortar board is the flat portion on top 
of a graduation cap. And then we're going to join these last two sides. And I use the tape roller on this portion and then I use the hot glue gun on other portions. So I'm going to use the hot glue gun to attach the bottom or the base piece to, to the sides. And all I do is run some glue right, right down this row of tabs, the, the ones I line. And of course, if you're not going to line it, you don't have to worry about this. Um, but I just, if you're going to line it, you'll want to do this just to, just to make it, keep it looking uniform. Try not to get any glue outside of there. That's the way you want to make it look. This one I can rub some of this glue off later, but I want to get moving so you can start making your caps. And if you keep it away from the edge, that helps too. So that it doesn't seep out. Because we just want to keep the liner laying down, that's all. And you see it gives it really nice, neat appearance. pull those off on my final quality check before I box it up. There's an eraser you can get that I saw in one of the room, one of the groups. I don't have it out here. It's in my box, but um, you can get that and it will pull the glue right off of things like this without damaging. I want to say it's called Art Gum, but I can't remember exactly. All right, so I have all those down. And like I said, I'll, I'll have to go back and clean this up some. And sometimes if uh, you can't clean it up, just a little black marker will make that disappear. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Press it in place well thank you whoever's purchasing move this over a little more all right so now we have our base ready and all I do is I just refold these down just to make sure that they'll be ready for me to add the base to it without uh, sticking up. And then I take my base and I start with one. I pull the complete flap out and I take my hot glue gun, I sit it up there because the glue gun can dry so quickly and I just run a line of glue just right along there and then I position this one side onto that one side of the base or the sides of the base box base and then I go to the other side because I want to try to make sure it's going to be symmetrical so I go to the other side pull that one out the same way I did that one so that both sides are out and I run the glue down that one and you don't have to run it at the end because the base uh, you can run it kind of in the middle and it will work out just fine and then I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up and straight with that side before it dries, hopefully. And you're just going to keep adding glue and lining up those sides until 
you get the whole bottom glued into place. And I kind of check every now and then to make sure that that my corners are lining up so that I don't have a weird shape at the end. And for these two, I'm just going to put it on both of them at the same time and then position them at the same time. Making sure I'm getting that attached. So you see how, how nicely that comes out. Hopefully I caught some of that. So now we have the base on and we're ready to move on to the next portion. Okay, now we're ready to put together the top portion of the cap. So we're going to do the same thing. You're just going to fold these down. Then you're also going to fold the bottom down under. And you're going to fold these two sections toward each other. But you're not going to glue this one yet. This one you're going to glue down to it to the uh, other side of the of the this one, you're gonna put glue there, and then just make sure it's adhered. It's adhered. So it's going to look like this when you're done. That side's gonna be nice and smooth, and this side is gonna be the fold over. I'll do another one. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna fold, you're gonna fold these down, the three tabs, then you're going to fold all of these in the same direction. You're going to fold the bottom, which is going to attach to the under part of the cap. And then you're going to also fold this portion. Now this portion is where you're going to put your glue. You're going to just run some glue across there and then flatten that out. Just like that. So this side is smooth and your folds are all going in the same direction. I'll do one more just in case. Fold down all of them going in the same direction. And I just did this to make the cap or the top portion fit more uh, snugly and be more firm, not so, you know, not, not all wonky and, and flimsy. So once again, you're just gonna put, I just put it right down the middle, a little toward the side, but not so that it can seep out. And you're just gonna do that for all of them, and then I'll be back. Okay, now we have all these pieces ready, and we're just going to attach them, once again, just like you do with the baseball cap and like we did with the sides, you're just going to attach them together. So I'm just going to run a little, just a bead of glue, not all the way to the edge. And then I'm just going to attach it according to the fold. Just like that. Do a couple more and then I'll stop the camera so that this isn't too long. Once again... Just line it up with the fold and press it in place. And you're just going to do that until you have all eight pieces. And now just like in the virtual tutorial, when you have all the pieces together, you're going to just attach the last two, the last two sides. And I'm putting just a little glue there, and then I kind of tap it close to the edge so I can get some glue all the way to the edge without it spilling out, and then just put it on there and make sure it's attached really well. 
and this portion is not going to show very much anyway um, but it's pretty easy to get it together quickly and we're going to do the same thing we did on the base we're going to fold these down again and we're going to do our lineup where we line it up with one side and then we're going to go all the way around so I'm just going to put some glue kind of in the middle and then you can tap in it and bring it back like I said I do with the other one just get a little glue so that it'll go all the way to the edge and I'm going to flip to the other side and do the same thing I did on the cap. So you're just doing, you're just repeating yourself. It's not, as you can see, it's not difficult at all. If you need to lift it up to line it up to make sure you, you're getting it as straight as possible, you can do that. And then I'm just going to finish going all the way around. Just going to go ahead and hit all three of these at the same time with some glue and then kind of push these into place where you want them to sit. You can even turn it over if it's easier for you to do it this way and you just want to make sure that you're getting them all to stick to the portion that's going to be attached to our mortar board. So now I need to do the same thing to this side and then I'll be back. And once again, since this paper is, this cardstock was not as firm as the cardstock I'm used to using, I like to use the 115 pound cardstock and this I think is like 85 or something, maybe even a lower uh, poundage. I'm I'm reinforcing it. I just cut a nine inch square out of that same black. Actually, it's eight and a half by eleven inch, and I'm just going to put it in the middle here. But because I don't want ridges, I'm going to use my tape roller to put this piece into place. So I'm just going to put a few lines of glue. just to keep it in place and I'm just gonna eyeball putting it in the middle because it's not going to show anyway but I was just that's pretty good and then I'm gonna do the same thing because I don't want the hot glue ridges I'm gonna go around the edges Because I want this lined up perfectly, I put it on the one edge first, and then I take, put it on one edge, then I take this for the opposite edge, make sure it's lined up, and then I can push that side together, and now I can go underneath with my tape roller and do the rest of it. And I put quite a few quite a few lines just to make sure that it stays adhered. You don't want to bend it, so I'm just holding it back, but not folding it. I'm just going to run my hot glue, and I want some hot glue all the way down the edges so that when they go together, they'll stay together. And I was pretty generous with my tape rolls through here. but I'm making sure that I'm not going to put any folds in there where I don't want them. And now I'm just going to run down each of these edges to make sure that the top stays in place. And then you just drop it. And I went over it with my Cricut roller just to make sure that it was adhering really well.
and as you can see it makes it a lot sturdier and now this was the point when I checked to make sure that my cap was going to fit snugly you just line it up and sit it on there and as you can see it fits nicely and like I, I'll remind you once again I'm going to give you the exact measurements and the way you should turn your pieces be before you set the measurements uh, you need to turn your pieces the way I'm going to have my pieces turned to make sure that you're getting the correct measurements and so that's going to fit perfectly so now I can move that out the way and before you could do this part before or after um, you're going to put hot glue on here so for the logo I just line it up so that it's straight across both sides and these aren't the pieces that I cut, but with the with the, the triangles that I cut, I put glue down every edge and then some lines of the tape glue here. And without pressing it down all the way, I just kind of lined it up with the corner, make sure it was straight at the bottom, and then attach it. The camera died while I was showing that portion. So now all we need to do is put on the underside of our cap box. And what I did was I put it, I have some tape strings on there. I put it on, put the top back on it like that. And then I took the cap and I sat it on there to make sure that it would be right in the middle of the of the box. And to make it even easier, because this tape is repositionable, you could just put a little bit of tape on there and then bring your box over. Make sure that you have it seated like you want it. And then position this so that the point is directly in the middle, lined up with the middle of your flat side that you want to be your front. And then once I know that it's lined up in the middle, because remember I put some glue in there, now I know it's turned where the top will close correctly. So now I can take this off and then do my fine tuning. And once I see that this is lined up pretty well all the way around, you could do a little fine tuning by turning it a little. Once I see that that's lined up pretty well all the way around, pretty even, I'm gonna press down in the middle where I put that little tape, and then I'm just gonna lift this up and put a nice amount of glue in there and press it back down. Got a little spillage. And you're gonna do that on both sides. Get some more glue. Lift it up a little bit so you're not wasting it out on the on the portion that you don't want it on. And then just press it down. And you have completed your cap box. Let that finish drying a bit. And Try it out, see how it looks. And it's lined up exactly like I wanted it. So that's how you make your cap boxes. And then the last piece I put on is the little side emblem or the side logo. So hopefully that was helpful. I'm sorry there were a lot of mishaps, but hopefully this helps you to assemble your box. 
grad cat box. I'll see you next time.